Awesome, guys. Right, let's get some food prepared. Looking forward to this. Absolutely starving. Check out the dining area, guys. Stunning. You've got to see a little lovely guys. Really. Well, it's nearly ready, and am I ready for this? It'll set me up for a few hours. Awesome. Okay, so what I'm going to be trying tonight is a compass experiment. That's where I use a compass to see if the dial moves when lights are crossing above. Only reason being, I've had scout watchers get in contact with me saying they've tried this method and the dial has moved on the compass. In some cases, it's gone crazy when lights have been crossing above. So does that mean some of these lights are not satellites? What is affecting the compass? Do these unknown objects affect the Earth's magnetic field locally. Very interesting, I've never heard of this before, but I'm going to try it. So I'll stick with the video to check out what happens. Just check this out, guys. How can you not love this? Absolutely amazing. A stunning day. I don't think I'm going to venture down there today. That's where I go in the summer next to the stream looking for crayfish and doing some cooking and through that little valley there is where I do the scar watches summertime. But I'll end up on my house if I try getting down here today. So I'm sure nobody wants that. But absolutely stunning, guys. Crystal clear. Any equipment I use in these videos, I'll leave the links in the description. The Amazon affiliate links do check them out, but I will give you honest reviews in videos about the equipment to use. If it's good, it's good. If it's crap, it's crap. Simple as that. I will be reviewing a lot more equipment and buying a lot more equipment to try out and then review. So do check out the links if you're interested in anything I'm using. Wind, absolutely lovely and clear. Place is absolutely awesome. Love it. Okay, so the aim of tonight's scar watch is to use a compass. I've had messages of other scar watchers saying they use a compass. And when a light crosses the sky, which you might think is just a satellite, the compass starts moving and going crazy, which suggests possibly it's not a satellite crossing. Or these objects, these unknown objects people are filming, affecting the Earth's magnetic field locally. Very interesting. I'm going to try this. If we get results, I'll be doing it more often for sure. Okay, so for tonight's Sky Watch guys, I'll be using two pairs of night vision binoculars. One's the TKW SARs and the other the Night Fox 110. Right, the links to any equipment I use in these videos are always in the description of the videos, so do check them out. Whew, definitely getting a lot colder now that the sun's gone down. 
a bit of cloud moved in, but I'm sure that'll clear up. It's supposed to. It's a great day though. Great walk over the hills. Gonna find a little bit of shelter, it's a little bit windy. And uh, get a set up, have something to eat. Okay guys, so we're trying this method with the compass to see if anything crossing the skies affects it as I've had messages of a number of people saying they've tried this when been out sky watching and had the compass moving. I've been out with this compass now on three nights while I've been filming the skies with the lights crossing, most likely satellites. At least a lot of them were showing up on the satellite apps and no movement from the compass. But on this particular night, there was a real result. Now this is real time. The camera is on the compass as these objects, planes and satellites are crossing over. The compass stays very steady. There goes the satellite. And then I start to see some flickering lights in the sky, which I've seen on many occasions when out sky watching, but never had a compass with me. That's just a plane crossing. And as soon as these lights start flickering, I've noticed the compass starts to move a little bit now. Like I said, I've been out on a few sky watches with this compass. There have been lights crossing the skies, which to me were unexplained. They weren't showing on the outs, but no movement from the compass. I've noticed a brightest set of lights in the sky. It took me a while to find them using the night vision binoculars. Eventually got the camera on them and the compass really does move this is absolutely fantastic i will definitely be doing this again look at that guys absolutely amazing and so this is the footage of these lights whatever they are absolutely fascinating looped over as i only managed to film them for about 10 seconds and then lost sight completely but this is when the compass started to move absolutely fascinating amazing I'm going to look into this a lot more and use this method in future. Let me know what you think, guys, in the comments. Has anybody tried this method when you've been out sky watching? And if you haven't, definitely take a compass with you. I've been sky watching now for years and I've never heard of this method up until recently. It took me four sky watches to get results, but some definite results there. So, what are these objects people are filming all over the world? And what was this? Absolutely amazing footage on its own. But with the compass, fascinating. Okay, what a great time, guys. Thanks for watching. Please do like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment. Lots more videos coming up. Speak soon.